G'day legends, how's it going? Trev here from Trev's Life and on today's video we're out in this beautiful warm sunny day and we're going to be making marinated chicken gyros on the Bunnings $85 Jumbuck Rotisserie which is just there. <laughs> Alright, so this is a quick easy recipe, we're not going to muck around so let's just get stuck in. Rightio, so first of all, you need two kilos of chicken thighs. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get, yes, I have washed my hands. <laughs> everyone says, did you wash your hands? Right, uh, camera lady's giving me the thumbs up, letting everyone know. So there's your boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, no mucking around. We're just going to flatten them out a little bit. Forgot to make the marinade. Hang on. <laughs> hey, Struth, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot to make the marinade. And the camera lady's just laughing her head off in the background. Righto, gang, I've got covers on these because you're getting strife for showing brand names. But anyway, it's honey barbecue marinade for chickens, wombats, kangaroos, whatever it is you're eating. So, that's about 200 mils or 250 mils. What we're going to do is pour that in there, about half a bottle. And then we've got the sweet plum marinade, about half a bottle. Look, 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 look. Now, to get a bit of extra taste into that, we've got garlic powder. The garlic powder's going dry. Dry, wet, whatever it is when it can't come out the bottle. Lemon pepper, Woo, a bit of that in there. And onion powder. Oh, stroke too much come out. About that much. And a little bit of salt. Audio. Come in close camera lady and we'll just show these guys what it looks like. Good. Rightio, that's what it looks like. We'll give it a bit of a splash around, a bit of a stir up. Right, that's it, that's done. Now we can get back to knocking these chicken thighs around and making them flat. Okay, shoot. Rightio. <clears throat> so, all we do just give them a bit of a dush. I'm not trimming them, I'm not mucking around, just whacking them down like that and chucking them straight in the marinade. So I'll show you another one. Struth. I should have been a butcher. <laughs> Camera lady's looking a bit uh, concerned. Oh yeah, get back to you in a sec when these are all done. Right, our last one. Woo, beautiful. Right, yeah, get this out of the way. Now, what you do, we don't need this. Get your hands in, which are clean, and get it into that marinade. Do you want to come in close? camera lady. So all that beautiful marinade there, chicken thighs, marinade. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Right here gang. So what we do now is we go and chuck some glad wrap on this, chuck it in the fridge for an hour, wash your hands, clean up and get ready for the next stage. Rightio gang, hasn't been a whole hour because I'm hungry and I can't wait but it's been a while. What you do, keep it covered, keep it in the fridge. Anyway, actually if you do marinate it overnight it's even better. So they tell me, never, I never got that far. Now you get your doohickey off your, <laughs> off your jump up, $85 roaster 
and I bought these gas mate get your gyro discs <laughs> that you got from Bunnings for 35 bucks whack one on there tighten him up and then and then all you do is thread the meat on just like so so one goes that way and then the next one screw that's going to be messy have a look over here, camera lady. So one to the left, one to the right. Just crisscross them over. So they get on there nice and even. I'll probably fast forward this next bit. Nearly there, gang. Alright, last piece. Whack him on there like that. Now, I'm just going to lean that there and wash my hands. Righto, gang. Now you got your chicken thighs on. Whack your second gyro plate. I'm going to call it a gyro plate, gyro disc, whatever you want. Whack it on there like that. Press it in nice and tight. Ooh, straight. Tighten him up. Like so. And we'll just chuck it down here out of the way. And we'll go and get those coals. Right, again, briquettes are ashed over. I had them heating up for about 30 minutes. So we chuck them straight in. We're gonna get in tight on that one. Chuck them straight in. Yeah, one trick, fellas. When you put your when you put your chimney back down, don't put it on the grass and burn a circle. Because your missus will not like it. <laughs> right, uh, set your counterweight so you hold it like that. And Okay, so it's heavy that way. So then you loosen this. Hang on a sec. Loosen. And then you bring it up to the top. And then you tighten it up. And you whack it in. Alright. Get your trendy little sh fire him up. Get your little shovel, spread your coals out a bit, like so, and Bob's your uncle. In about an hour and a half, two hours, once we've got the got me meat thermometer, we'll stab it in about an hour and a half. Once we get an internal temperature of around 75 degrees Celsius. We'll be good to go. Righto gang, we're just under two hours and I noticed the old uh, chicken thighs aren't cooking that fast. They're looking pretty delicious, that's for sure. So I've just heated up some more coals and chucked them in. And I think because it's a windy old day that we're just losing all our heat. So what I've done is I've grabbed the old weather kettle lid and so with the fresh coals and my special stone, I'm just going to pop that on there like that. And now we're going to trap the heat in there and hopefully this bad boy will be cooked in an hour or so, so we can have some dinner. Righto gang, it's been about three hours. I've just checked the internal temp of the chicken which is 60 degrees, so inside's not fully cooked yet, but we can start trimming a little bit off the outside just to get this video done and dusted. So, first of all, we're going to make the, uh, the sauce that we're going to put on. So, what you do, sour cream into a bowl, chuck him in, then get some fresh parsley, off the lovely Miss Elise's parsley plant. Finally cut that. I 
like so. Chuck it in. Now, struth, I forgot me lemon. <laughs> Don't have a fresh lemon, but that doesn't matter. So sour cream, fresh parsley, splash of lemon juice, and some garlic pepper. That might have been a bit much, but it'll be delicious. Now, where's my spoon? Here it is. Give that a bit of a mix. Like so. Ooh, this is gonna be flavor country. Alrighty, now let's go over to the barbie and trim some of that outside chicken off so we can use it. Rightio, switch him off. I've just put the cooking grill underneath, like so, so we can trim it. And now we just trim some of this outside chicken off. Falls down on the tray just like that. Off you get chicken. Alright, turn him a little bit more. Yeah, I'll turn him now. Alright. Right, gang. So we've got some of this delicious chicken meat, crunchy black edges and flavor country. We'll just cut that up a little bit. Oh yeah. Little taste test. Mmm. <laughs> Camera lady just said, "What's the boy strip?" Woo! That's delicious. All right. Let's not muck around. Let's put this bad boy together. So, get our plate. Get our wrap. Get some sauce. Do you want to come in close, camera lady? So we get some sauce. Lay it down like so. Oh yeah. Then we get the chopped up chicken meat. Like so, we just lay it on like that. Oh wow, this is gonna be good. Then we get some lettuce, shoe fly. Then we get a bit more lettuce, some tomato, like so. Oh yeah. A little bit of fresh, finely, or fairly finely cut onion, like that. Touch more sauce. Like so. Fold the ends in. Struth camera lady, I think mum's better at this than me. Mm -hmm. Fold that over like so. And then fold the whole thing over like that. Hey, don't laugh. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Why does everybody laugh when I cook? I'm a chef, come on. All right, now we do the cut like so. The angle cut, because that looks cool. Then we open it up. That, what do you reckon, camera lady? Chicken gyros, Trev style. Righto, nothing else to do but to give it a crack. Here we go. Alright. 
ladies and gentlemen, that was well worth the three hours of staying out here. <laughs> Cooking and mucking around. Check it out. What do you reckon, camera lady? You gonna have one for dinner? Oh yeah. Alright gang. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I'm enjoying it right now. And um that's about it. So if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> please like, share and subscribe. And um we'll catch us on the next one. Ta da! That's too much. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> it's stuck on the top of my mouth. Stuck to the top of me, Bob. <laughs>